our moon moved into Scorpio, so there's a deeper psychologically watery kind of feel to this day in the next few days. What does this mean? My name is Sarah. I'm a mom and astrologist. This is what I do. I share what these things mean so you know why people are acting the way they do. If this doesn't interest you, it's okay. You can move on. Just have a really great day because you deserve that too. So between now and Sunday, it is a going in deep and psychological. Sometimes it's a little bit stuck in the head. Maybe it's even a little bit of projecting your feelings on the outside because Scorpios go in deep. There are three different symbols for Scorpio. There's the scorpion, so it can be bitey. It can be the eagle and rising above and seeing the world out there and then diving in with his claws. Or it can be the phoenix and transformational. You get to decide that with the Scorpionic energy that's out there. And even if you don't have any Scorpio in your chart, we all do feel it. It's just people with Scorpio in their chart might feel it a little bit more. This is a fixed sign, so people might get stuck and it's a feeling sign, it's a water sign, so it might be in their head and in their thoughts and their feelings. If things get hard, you can turn to something else that's out there in the next few days, which is Venus is meeting up with Neptune and what we call a sextile. So you can see if you can turn things light or airy, um, like maybe even put on some music because Venus is in Taurus and Neptune's in Pisces and they both love music. So speaking of thoughts, um, Mercury is starting its pre-shadow phrase, phase which means it's at five degrees of Taurus and that's where Mercury will end its retrograde cycle. So between now and April 21st, Mercury will travel from five degrees to 15 degrees of Taurus and then move backwards until May 14th when it will start to go direct again. So keep track of your thoughts. What is coming up? It can just be one sentence. It could be a couple sentences. I know for me, it's helping my kids get um, things put together. Taurus is also a fixed sign. So try not to get too stuck in your thoughts. This is coming from a Taurus rising. So stuck energy is kind of part of my DNA. You can look in your chart to see where Taurus falls in your chart. The freebie in my link in my bio teaches you how to make a birth chart. And while you're there, sign up for my email newsletter. I send it out every Saturday for the forecast for the week ahead. Let me know if this helps you. I can't wait to read what you write.